The sense of urgency created by recent events has been a catalyst for change. When it mattered most, organizations worldwide mobilized millions of people to work differently, cutting through bureaucracy out of sheer necessity. Now, as we turn our minds to recovery, one thing is certain, there is no going back. As we move into the recovery phase, it is all about creating the business case that will underpin survival for some and resilience for all. So how can you create greater organizational resilience to ensure survival in the period ahead? We asked five industry leaders from companies such as Fujitsu, Microsoft, and PwC about the factors they believe need to be considered when creating the business case for long-term change. Very, very immediately, everyone focuses in on the crisis. And for that particular period of time, you're probably not really focusing on the long-term strategic planning. It's getting everything working in today's world. And ideally, what you could do during the crisis period is work out slowly but surely how to evolve that long-term strategy, but also evolve the instant responses that you've had to have into that emerging long-term strategy. But what factors will be the most important in the longer term? We use our purpose, our technologies, and collaborative culture to get all our people contributing to immediate and short-term challenges and continue to be laser-focused on managing our cash and costs. Technology can help provide the flexibility, pace, and agility you need during this critical time. It can also undoubtedly play a key part in addressing immediate needs around cost reduction, unlocking potential efficiencies, and leveraging remote working. However, technology needs to be aligned with your business strategy. And that's something that I think is really critical. And it's about a lot more than just the crisis response to COVID. It's actually how do we think about digital transformation as a whole for an organization? Because it is about a journey and it's about the business process as much as it is about the, the technology. And thinking about technology more as a strategic lever for a business rather than just sort of the back office. People are starting to understand IT is really a strategic part of the business. It's as important as understanding what your business strategy is. The technology strategy really sits alongside that and it needs to work with the business strategy in order to deliver into the future. And I think that's what COVID has really brought home. It comes down to defining a culture and process and systems that are durable, that are differentiated, and that are sustainable. And that means technology, but it really means technology in the surface of your business strategy and in your people. And I think the part about people is that if they believe, they believe in your strategy, if they believe in your mission and they're connected to you and the organization, then they are going to solve the problems. It doesn't always have to be from the top down. While the right tools are important, it is also about creating the right environment for people to thrive. So how do you continue to mobilize and enlighten employees to ensure they are equally resilient? It's changing the game in terms of the, the trust that uh, exists between um, management and, and staff. Uh, and I think uh, that's creating a very new dynamic in the workplace. But that starts with the leaders of the organization having that shared vision and mission and connecting with and communicating with employees um, in two-way conversations, not just one way. Your core business and your people are your most important assets of where you need to go into the future. Ask yourself the question, are we still doing the right thing? Are we still selling the right thing? Are we still making the right money? And then when you have that question, are we treating our people correctly and right to be able to provide that? While no one can predict what the future holds, it's all about creating the business case for resilience. Once you've locked in resilience, that's when you can really reimagine the future. As we turn our minds to recovery, Fujitsu's key takeaways on how to build an adaptive and resilient organization include, refocus your priorities to ensure your business strategy is adaptable, create the right culture, align your people and talent management strategies to the vision of the organization, have the right tools in place to thrive, but make sure the technology is aligned with your strategy. And finally, if you have a long-term partner you can rely on, your business can continue to move at speed because one thing is for sure, there is no going back.